This video will show the work that Blue Corner Marine Research Team has been doing on coral restoration for the last five years. In early 2018, we began working on a coral restoration project here in Nusa Penida Marine Park. The Nusa Penida Marine Park is a beautiful group of islands located in Bali. Unfortunately, below water, some environmental issues have persisted over the years and created rubble areas. And over the years, some of the world's most biodiverse coral reefs have started to degrade and break down and form into rubble. These broken rubble areas of coral reef aren't able to regenerate on their own. They continue to erode and smother neighboring areas of reef. And so without natural recovery, we needed to start some restoration. In this video, I'm going to show you the work that we've been doing over the last five years from the beginning of 2018 until now in 2023. I dive on the site a lot throughout the year and so sometimes when I see the corals just growing millimeter by millimeter, you don't realize how much growth has happened over the last five years. Um, but it's nice to show people who, um, who helped out in the early days as well as um, look back and see how barren this reef was previously and now with all of the coral growth in the area, how it looks today five years on. After a long time of planning and monitoring the reefs, in the area. Um, we chose to focus on Centel Reef, which is on the north side of Nusa Penida. This area was just hundreds of meters of just broken rubble reef where there was no coral left living in the area. Our first steps were to map out the areas that we wanted to restore and figure out how big these areas are, what kind of methods we were going to use, and then stabilize the rubble and add structures for habitat. At the beginning of 2008, we began installing the first frames and transplanting our first corals in the large area of rubble. At that time, it seemed like quite a huge job because there was so much rubble and um, just a few, we just had a few frames. So uh, we started putting a few at a time and as more students and helpers would help us out, we added more and more and more frames to the area as we began to fill in the area with corals. We transplanted the area with broken corals that we would find lying about on the reef that had broken off and were rolling around and would otherwise die. So we brought them to the area so that they could be transplanted and grow into new reefs. As we tr continued to transplant more corals to the area and add more habitat and frames and stabilize the rubble, Many new organisms began moving into the site and making use of the area, including fish and invertebrates and octopus and all sorts of organisms to make up the entire ecosystem. Now, five years later, our efforts are starting to pay off and the area that was previously rubble has turned into a beautiful coral reef site. Corals are starting to cover the area um, of rubble and expand beyond the initial frames that we had transplanted on. We've also had a good opportunity over these five years to figure out which methods are working for our particular environmental conditions, which methods need improvement, and then adapt our techniques as we go. Lots of students and volunteers and dive instructors and dive masters and um, boat captains and staff and lots and lots of people have helped us over the years to create re recreate this um, coral reef that is now 
teeming with life and starting to rebuild the ecosystem. So these last videos here are from swimming around in May of 2023 and we this area in May of 2018 was barren and rubble. So it's quite impressive to be able to see how coral can be resilient with a little bit of help. We can kickstart the ecosystem back into functioning again. If you remember to the beginning of the video, those uh, vast rubble dead areas of reef those were the exact same areas that I'm diving across with the camera right now looking at. So this is five years growth. And we continue working on the site, monitoring the site, adapting our techniques, doing research on the area as well to figure out which species are best adapted to the area and how we can improve the techniques we're using and um, use them in other areas as well as start combating some of the other degraded areas of reef around the area around the Nusa Penita Marine Park. I began working in the field of coral restoration and restoration ecology in 2004 so 19 years ago and so I'm just so happy to be able to put these skills to use and education to use and continue to learn how we can improve methods and improve the ecosystem or at least reverse some of the damages that have been done to the environment over the years.